One would have thought that J. Israel's release will mark a new beginning of the reformation he spoke about in 2020, but it appears he's already stoking the fire. All their attempts failed. All their attempts really failed, you know. I'm coming for uh, this one called Solomon. I'm coming for you. All your lies and tricks and everything that you've been using and whatnot, I'm coming. You, you, there's a bomb that is going to explode right in your face. You will see it very soon. J. Israel says social media vloggers like Ricky Gilimus of Church Reality Check fame and Solomon Ashams were on an agenda to character assassinate him. Ricky, you used to call me. You used to call me. You used to, you know, you used to ask me. You used to ask me, Jay, I heard this. Is it true? What about this? The next thing, because blessing, you know, uh, that a uh, 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 lady uh, 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 blessing, you know, my ex. I won't, I won't uh, say much about her, but because she, you know, probably gave some one, two thousand to Solomon and Solomon was just going crazy and, you know, he was given money, you know, do this, let's attack Jay, let's make sure we, you know, we, we and then Ricky was also brought, in, brought into the picture. The next thing Ricky is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm deleting Jay Israel's uh, videos. Uh, from my YouTube channel because J. Israel is a charlatan. I'm disappointed in all of you guys. All of you guys are fake. He says he was expecting vloggers to show solidarity and support at the time of his incarceration, but he was left disappointed. And if you're offended by what I'm saying right now, I don't care. Because what you guys are supposed to do with people who come out and they say, Guys, I did one, two, three, four. What you are supposed to do is to come out and help those people. Stand with them as brothers. You don't shame them in public. You don't go after them and start saying stuff because you feel like they've got more viewers than you. Look, you see, with me, I was born with a star. Whether I become a, 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 a whatever tomorrow, I will still, you know, I will still be that, I will still be that guy. You understand? I'll still be that person. Guys, uh, where is the brotherhood spirit in all of you? You know? Where's the bro I see Ricky. Ricky, I, I, I see Ricky here, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed in you, brother, you know, because um, you, used to, you used to call me. Ricky is here. I saw Ricky. Ricky, you used to call me. You used to call me. You used to you know, you used to ask me. He claimed that Solomon, Ricky, and Blessing had conspired against him. There's nothing watchmen about all of you. You guys are very satanic. That's what I must tell you. You know? You guys are very, very satanic. All you do is to trash each and every person. By the way, I'm coming for uh, this one called Solomon. I'm coming for you. All your lies and tricks and everything that you've been using and whatnot, I'm coming. You, you, there's a bomb that is going to explode right in your face. You will see it very soon. He comes, oh, you see, Jay is unrepentant. Are you God? Jay is unrepentant. Uh, Jay is this. Jay is that. Are you God? Are you God for you to judge me like that? You know? Man, you're not God. You don't know me like that, you know? On top of that, he goes, he, he does a live broadcast just to say, I'm 30, I'm 36 years old or I'm 40. Live, a whole live broadcast, a whole 50-year-old man who's, who's, who's supposed to be taking care of his family, you know? He's supposed to be taking care of his family. He goes live. For what? For J. Israel. To say what? Just to say, J. Israel is, uh, uh, is 40 years old. J. Israel he has been lying about his age. He is actually 40. Uh, J. Israel, uh, he did this and then he did this. J. Is Are you kidding me? And you get all these journalists online. I was disappointed by this uh, a, a young guy called Ricky, you know. He used to uh, post my videos and stuff and, you know, saying a whole lot of things. All these people who claim to be revivalists, who claim to be watchmen, these are all nonsense people, you know. 
reacting to the broadcast, Ricky says he was expressing his personal opinion, adding that he was not obliged to right the wrong. But I'm not obligated to, to click to tick right when you're wrong. This is exactly what I said to him in my private chat with him. Okay? After this stream, when he made this stream, I texted him, I'm not obligated to make right when you're wrong. No, 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 no. That's wrong now. The, the Bible actually, it says, why them who, who say right, uh, wrong is right and right is wrong? So I'm, I'm not about to be that. He explained emphatically that no one was not subject to the truth. We are all subject to truth. We live according to consciousness. It's, it's true. My conscience is to, to trust truth. And so I don't just agree with you. Even when you're, when you're wrong, there, there's a small little conversation where he tries to add me into this chat and I could not join. I want to explain that you are streaming at 10 to 11 o'clock. I was in bed because I had to be in the studio in the morning. The time when I'm shooting this video is 8 o'clock in the morning. And so I had to go to bed so that I can be in the studio early and finish some reading and some stuff that I wanted to do on videos. And so... Um, there was no way i'm not that guy i'm not gonna just answer the video video instruction to instagram when i'm in bed i'm not that kind of a guy so when i went out it was like two three minutes different he was like nah i'm not gonna add him don't want to make him more famous